Hey guys, what's up? It's Dylan from Lefty Hockey Reviews. Today I'm reviewing the Verbero Puck by Verbero Sports. Link in description. Go check them out. They are a new company coming out this September and they're going to be unveiling a lot of products which I think could be great for hockey. So here's the puck. It's about 3.7 ounces. Has a cool design to it. It looks more like a roller hockey puck or inline puck than an ice hockey puck. Could be a good off ice training puck as you can see when I do my review. I really like the design. Comes in many colors and I happen to get this color. So here's it to a roller hockey puck. You can see this one's obviously bigger, thicker. It's about the same. Yep, it is. Just doesn't have the little white things. Normal ice hockey puck, same height, so that is good. So it's basically the same size, just a little lighter. Now this kind of roller hockey puck, about the same height, same size. So now, let's get to stick handling with it and a little of shoot. Okay, so now I'm going to stick handle with the puck and compare it to the other roller hockey pucks. So let's start off with the Berbero puck. I'm also using Hockey Shot One Timer and the Dry Land Ice Tile. So as you can see, it gets a great feedback off the One Timer model. It's really smooth. Also, you can see it's not the same with this puck and the other roller hockey puck. So now let's get more to the repair puck. So let's stick handle with it a little. What I really like about it is it really sticks to your stick well. So it's good for those ones you want to practice stick handling. It's also great because it has a great feel on dry land ice. And that means it's also good on shooting boards to shoot off of, so that's great also. It's also the same size as an ice hockey puck, the thickness. So if you were to use the skinnier roller hockey puck, it wouldn't be good because you can't get the whole puck. So yeah, I love it. shots now. Okay, it might be hard to see the puck, but I'm just going to take some shots, tell you how it feels off the stick and on the dry land ice. Remember, I'm in my basement. I can't go outside, so the net's a little close. So you get this kind of a twist when the puck comes off your stick feels nice and it feels nice and even. Puck's really horizontal so it's not like flipping. Basically stays flat throughout midair. Let's try a little snapshot. Feels nice. I've catched it against the post and it seems a lot of durability in the puck. Just like there. No cracks, no damages. Just good. Okay, so here are my overall thoughts. 
I love the puck. Really smooth on the dry land ice. Fun stick handle because it's such a grip. Blue things are a little worn out. No dents or scratches. There's one scratch, but that's okay. Because it's a uh, puck. It's going to get damaged. But there is no uh, real big dents or cracks. Which is a good thing when it hits the post a lot. So it's a little dirty. Well, it's a white puck, which is cool. And when they probably sell them, they will let you pick the color. Obviously, I had no choice, but it's okay. I love the puck. I like the design. And good practice material for roller hockey and ice hockey. Because you can get the feel, practice with a lighter puck. And it, the people will love it because of the design of the star, basically. And, yeah, that's it. I definitely recommend it. Ribeiro Sports. Link's in description. And they're going to have some great products coming on the way. I looked at them and they're going to be a big company in every in the hockey world. So, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, one more thing. They have like five air holes that go through them. Probably to balance out the puck. Brings also more to the design. And now they're on my hockey board because they gave me a sticker. It's a little uneven, but that's another puck you can get. It's cool colors. I like the colors that they combine. So thanks for watching.